Have you ever asked yourself what's the absolute number one skill you should be cultivating if you want to have success at anything you try in life and at operating at peak performance in particular? And this skill is non-obvious, not many people discuss this, and it takes time to master. But once you have it, everything is exponentially easier. Let's get to it. Hi everyone, Leon Castillo here, CEO and founder of Softmaster, which is a company that specializes in peak cognitive performance for entrepreneurs and business leaders. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing because we release a few videos every week to help entrepreneurs scale their businesses and professionals accelerate their careers at exponential speed. So, I was thinking today about what is the number one skill that I believe anybody can cultivate, so no prerequisite, no college, no connections, no 350 IQ points needed that makes anybody's life easier and is non-obvious, right? Because there's always the need of cultivating courage, cultivating persistence, cultivating resilience, all these character traits um, that make life worth living, right? If you're not courageous, if you're not able to persist, if you're not able to be resilient, everything becomes harder. But the number one skill that I believe is non-obvious that will make your life a hundred times easier is your ability to design systems, as simple as it sounds. When you know how to architect the way you live and work for optimal defaults, meaning that you end up doing what you need to do to the best of your ability because the underlying system is working to make sure that's the natural consequence, everything becomes easier. In fact, I would argue that willpower is not even needed if it is not for building the best system you can for get the results you want. And I want to make this as actionable as possible because I really think this can be life-changing for a lot of people. So I'm gonna provide plenty of examples to drive this point home. In fact, I believe that you should have this front and center in your mind at all times. And the number one question you should be asking yourself every day is, what system can I improve at this very moment? So for instance, let's say that the goal you have for the next two hours is to access flow, right? That non-ordinary state of consciousness that is equated to full focus, right? So you want to be fully focused for two hours and hopefully unleash flow, right? If that's the goal, then what's the system you need to architect to make sure that goal is a natural emergence of that system. I'd say that you need to make sure what's the task that you are going to work on. Number one, you need to provide yourself an internal deadline to force your mind for focus. That's number two. You need to architect everything in your environment to avoid being distracted, both on the external, meaning no external distraction, no coworkers, no pings from the phone, no emails jumping in your screen, God forbid, and on the internal. So being relaxed, ideally having med uh, meditated or done some sort of deep breathing that can lower your brainwaves so you are fully relaxed in the task at hand. And then you can make uh, flow and focus happen because you have architected everything to prevent flow focus from not happening. So you have designing a system that takes care of the internal and the external to make sure you get the results you want. But let's say, for instance, that you want um, you want to find a co-founder for your startup, right? Well, what's the system you need to architect to make sure finding a suitable co-founder is the natural consequence of that system? Well, you probably need to start going to where a startup founders gather where people with the skills that complement yours may be finding themselves at. And you also need to have a pitch that you can provide or you can do to these potential co-founders to attract their attention. And you also have a clear understanding of all those metrics that VCs uh, and co-founders look at, right? So the target addressable market, all that stuff. So you need to start architecting the way you live and work to find that co-founder. Visit the places where they gather, 
um, have their information, they may need to reach a decision readily available. So you don't need to think about it or just uh, get back to them at a later stage. You can uh, like just info dump them on the spot. Let's say that you want to find a, uh, I don't know, you like, I don't know. You you want you want um you like black girls from Africa, uh, and you want to have a girlfriend that is a black girl from Africa. But what what should you do? Well, instead of hanging out with white girls from Missouri, you probably need to start booking your holidays, assuming that you do not live in Africa, to visit Nigeria or Kenya during uh, your holidays until you find uh, somebody that you believe is suitable um, to accompany you in life. Or you can just ask for uh, being for being sent to Africa to work so you have more chances to meet more people, right? As easy as it sounds, it is it has life changes consequences because most people do not think in these terms. They believe that what happens to them are random events, occurrences, things that just happen. And they are unaware of the patterns that are happening in their lives. And the pattern is just a behavior of a system. Once you understand the underlying system, it is very easy to fix it, right? And think about it. Uh, it is easier to get this when you're trying to get a, get a goal that instead of avoiding something. So let's say you want to run a marathon. What, what should you be focusing on? Well, you should be focused on training. You need to start doing different kinds of exercises during a week. You also need to probably sleep more than you're sleeping now to give your mind and your body time to recharge. You probably need to do more stretching. You probably need to uh, find a coach. So there's a bunch of initiatives and projects that you need to undertake in order to get to the goal of the marathon. But if you want to find a girlfriend that is from Africa or a co-founder for your startup or focus in the next two hours is the same principle. Design the system that makes sure that what you want is the natural consequence of the system you've built. This is the power of systems. It works fractally at all scales on the micro and on the macro. And a peak performer is the person that uses the least amount of energy to get the maximum result available. So it's not about willpowering your life because that's exhausting, but about architecting your life the way you want it so that you get the results you envision. Hopefully this was useful. Please let me know in the comment if it was. Like, subscribe, and do everything you know you need to do so that we can keep growing the channel. And if you want a proven system for operating a peak performance, eight weeks, seven concrete steps, uh, apply for this Hamas Evolution program, a call with me or my team. We'll be happy to walk you through everything that we have been able to accomplish so far and see if it, this is exactly what you need to transform your behavior forever. See you in the next video. Cheers.